beauty is pain. We have all heard that phrase before. But most of the times, I feel the pain goes to our wallets. Every time I go and buy makeup, I go broke. In many countries, I feel like getting your makeup professionally done for some type of event can go from $30 to $50, or well, at least that's the price here. But what if I told you I found a place that can do it for a quarter of the price? Or well, allegedly, they say they can do it. <laughs> Today, once again, I'm taking one for the team and checking out the cheapest professional makeup salon that I found. So without any further ado, let's get into the makeup. When I came into the salon, it kind of gave me like a spa, beauty salon type of vibe. You know, you could get your nails done, maybe a hair treatment massage if you like but I was mainly focusing on the makeup part of the salad the room I was gonna get my makeup done in can only be described as a uh, interrogation room the makeup artist the main cop asking the questions her assistant you know partner in crime and my brother filming everything you know in case everything goes down and just one bright ass light one white bright ass light in the middle of the room and of course let's not forget the torture table in the back <laughs> a professional makeup artist maybe you don't need like a proper place at the end of the day like if you have the skills that's what makes you a professional makeup artist having a nice salon to work is a privilege or I don't know there's a lot of people that have nice looking salons but the makeup is ass you just need the skill to be a good makeup artist not a proper place whatsoever My brother, Ethan, he didn't feel much of the makeup table, but there were like a million palettes out. So I knew she meant business. Bring it on. One thing I've noticed when it comes to good makeup artists is that usually if they're wearing makeup, it looks good. And I know, duh, of course. But I mean, many times people don't wear makeup and they work up an artist. But this one in particular had the nicest makeup that I've ever seen on anyone before. Like it was natural, you know. But still, so far, I'm trusting. <laughs> If you've been around long enough, you know that sometimes uh, moas can get quite excited when it comes to colors. But this makeup artist used, you know, colors that are a little bit more out there. But clearly you see with good technique and proper blending you can make it look actually really nice. I really like it. It's giving musical festival vibes. It's giving Pride Month parade. And I'm kind of living for it. No vivo aquí pero voy a tener que venir a pasar por ti.
cerrar el ojito, te voy a delinear, ¿ya? Cierra el ojito, ábrele, todo lo que puedas, abrir el ojito, me avisa si te duele, ¿ya? el ojito si sí, tiene bien chiquita I will say lash curling might not be her thing mantenle así abierto el ojito sin pestañear ya she did offer lashes for a little bit more money but I have trust issues but I think that's just a me problem. Tienes puesto algo en la cara? No. No. This is gonna be so random, but I don't know if it was just in my high school, but at the beginning of the year, like the school year, there would be this elections and we would choose students to represent the students to like higher ranks of the school, like the people who manage the school. And you know, there would be like groups. Basically, the way we were promoted, because I was in one of the groups and I hated everyone. <laughs> we would throw parties in the middle of the school day. And I'm not telling you like, you know, just music and some like, food around we were literally buy black bags and we would put it like around a certain place where they were like already walls so we just had to make it like a square and a little bit darker it literally looked like a clock and it was in the middle of the day i'm telling you it's math science english party like full-on party history it <laughs> We would hire like smoke machines, we hired a DJ, and we hired a DJ. Another group hired like a proper artist, like a local artist. It was all my high school by the way. It was all high school, it was just three hours of party in the middle of the day for a week straight. <laughs> but this story is because basically this room literally reminded me of those days like the black plastic back there and the full plastic music so points for her for making me remember those terrible years i mean it was it was fun but i didn't like anyone <laughs> i liked like two people and that's it I hate the lipstick with a passion <laughs> that's my personal opinion but I really hate the lipstick maybe it's just the shade that I think it doesn't really go with the makeup of the eyes uh, but I'm leaving all creative decisions to the one I don't really like the lipstick. The that's, lipstick is horrible. That's my concern. Yeah, I think it's just the lipstick that is yeah. throwing me when off. When she was, st uh, she started uh, putting it on you. I was like concerned <laughs> about the color. I ended up wearing it for most of the day. I went to lunch, and then I went home. So that was most of my day. I think considering the price. That's pretty damn good. I'm pretty sure I can do a photo shoot with that uh, makeup 
on and you know just give it a little bit of editing let me know what you think and also let me know how much is a professional makeup in your country or in your city i'm curious because ev i think everywhere it's a different price that was pretty much it for today i hope you really enjoyed this video and i really enjoyed having you today i will let you know that make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any single video that i post and I will see you next time with a brand new video.